Hey guys, Godzilla Zachary is back, and you might be wondering, like, why is the clock here? Well, good news. I actually got the rack put back in place finally, and I'm now working in the process to get these screws back in, and so I can get this set up again. However, I still need to get a little latch for right here. And this is going to be hard to do as it opens from the bottom. No, but let's hope this doesn't mess up. I was just doing some tests to it. That did do seven. I'm trying to see if I can get the best positions for this. And I was actually right about this. This clock does use rack and snail striking. But here's a cool feature. I tested the... It's off camera uh, with the hour hand, and this is actually the cool feature. The hour hand is actually connected to the snail. That's not the rack. Like I meant snail earlier. Snail. Oh, so no matter which position the hour hand is in on the face, he's, it will strike the correct time on the hour, which is pretty cool. And then here's the bottom view. Ooh right here and that's actually what holds the pendulum which I need to get hung back in there but I actually managed to fix this finally hey, after a long hiatus I finally was able to fix it and I might get a winding video of it out sometime soon hopefully but my Wentworth will be needing wound soon so I might do a winding video on that and yeah, pretty soon. It's in three Mondays from now. You know. But anyways, like here's also that key for the key for this clock. So this, yeah, I needed only one right there. As you see, like this actually. He helps keep the clock from breaking the spring. Ugh. There we go. I was going to say it was going to be hard to get the key out of there. Here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm recording. You can see me in the glass. Yes, I am recording on my phone, so it actually makes it harder to take the key out, out while holding it. But we have all these extra screws here, as well as the little nut that goes on the hands. And yeah, but I did leave the chime rods in there. I don't know what that is. It is. It is. I'm just going to remove that. But yeah, I'm probably going to see if I can get a little, little piece right here onto this eventually. And here's one last look at the face. And that's just like a motorbike outside, but this is also like a little piece that goes on the hour hand. Because this piece was actually in the way, which accidentally made me break the snail out. But I luckily managed to snap the snail back in place. I did try to find a replacement on eBay. I found one, but it was as, t as untested, so I could not go for it. I was lucky I got that piece pushed back in, and now it's perfect again. I'll do the striking on it one more time. I can get that.
Okay, that's strength 12 tie. Anyways, I don't know why, but there we go. The oh, oh, good news is that I managed to fix it finally, and I now just need to get it, it fixed up with the time and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed the, this better in-depth look at it. And you should be proud of me that I finally got it fixed. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're new, go and ring that bell to be notified for more videos coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So long!